freeze mouth pipe, tapered mouth pipe dent cable. Kind of looks a little strange, but it's a very useful tool for removing dents from the lead pipe of French horns. Okay. The problem we have here is because we have an extreme taper to a very small size, not a lot will pass through the area of the receiver. Okay, uh, when the mouth pipe comes in. How do we get that? Well, using our, our tapered mouth pipe cable kit and our N57Gs, okay, we're able to remove the dents from here. How do we do that? Demonstration is we are going to pull, obviously, a tuning slide. We have two ends to our cable. We have a straight end that will screw on, and then we have a series of balls on the one end. This is typically the area that we use to drive with, so it typically will go on last. Inserting part of the cable that has the round screw end side. We're going to take this side and we're going to work, feed it through our lead pipe. Now the whole thought behind the protective covering is to prevent any scratches from our lead pipe. We can actually do it a couple different ways. One area that might be a little bit easier for us uh, is if we use the cable sort of in a reverse way. Okay. By that, what it allows us to do is allow us to put the dent ball on the cable side while it's sticking out instead of trying to hold the ball on while we're threading it in. So for this demonstration, we're going to do that. Either way will work. Decide for yourself which is the best. And if you have people in your shop that are animate that it's used a different way, it's not going to hurt any way you do it. So feel free to use it the way you find best or that they want you to use it. Okay, depending where the dent is on our lead pipe, we have to approximate the size of dent ball we're going to have. To do that, we're going to look at our N57Gs, okay, and we're going to pick an appropriate size, okay. We should have something that's going to be relatively close to the size. At least that will give us a very quick starting point. Place the ball on. Start the cable with this twist. And what I like to do, if we can just nice wide shot here is I like to spin the cable. What this does is it spins it on this area right here. So you can see without any twisting other than the cable itself we're already tight. Okay. We're simply going to move the cable back now using the draw handle. Pulling it through keeping everything centered okay, so we can feel it's tight. Now whenever you use this tool, word of caution, the lead pipe must be soldered and all braces must be attached. Because if not, when you go to pull this, the lead pipe will literally crush in on itself. Okay. Using our trusty magnet again. Okay. We can feel through, we can feel where our dent ball is, and we're here. The area we wanted to get to was here. I'm simply going to reduce the dent ball size by possibly one to two balls. I would probably go two balls because I would want it to actually go past and then come back. Let it raise this slight imperfection and then come back to it. Okay. Okay. Once we're done, we simply grab the opposite end. Okay. We can push the cable through, create a little bit of slack, and we're going to have a little bit of movement. And that's the ball being slammed between the two cables. Okay, and that allows us to drive it out. Simply pull it out. We're going to use the reverse method, holding the cable here, and we're going to spin it in reverse to remove it. So I've spin this way. And off we come. Just that last little bit. 
Okay. Remove our dent ball, and we would continue. Okay, you can literally feel the brass move as you're going. You want to be cautious not to overexpand the areas. You should see the brass actually start to expand when you've reached the maximum size. You should see it lift the brass under a dent and just slowly have it rise. Okay, if it is a sharp dent, you will need to use a dent hammer to hit the center of the dent when the dent ball is directly underneath to raise the sharp point. Once it is a flat, sort of a rounded dent, it can simply be raised by pulling the appropriate dent ball set underneath. Thank you for the demonstration. Hope you enjoyed it.